I just had this huge um, like feeling that I needed to prove myself. Like I, I, I felt I wasn't good enough. And it stemmed from when I was young, you know, and it caused me to go after trying to do so much. And then I finally like let go and I started showing up to the world just more authentic. We know, we hear about this like authenticity, but like truly um, it takes a lot of courage ultimately to like take off the layers and just, I started just documenting being like, not having to have the perfect pictures, you know, to have the perfect speech, have the perfect video. Like I just started like being like, all right, like I'm going to just speak from the heart, you know? And, and that was like a, that was a huge, huge aspect um, for me. It was just starting to like document more, share, like even doing this interview, like I might've been like overthinking it in the past, you know, sharing my truth. Because we fear FOPO, fear of other people's opinions. You know, it's just like, you know, we go through that. Um, so for me, I just started showing up way more authentic. I let go of the perfectionism. And let's see. Um, yeah. And then like, basically like just my mission in general was like, okay, how can I now not only go out and share stories of, you know, other conscious leaders and people that are going out there and doing work to just, you know, help help others to align themselves, align their, at their heart, align, you know, what they generally want to bring to the world. That's going to help raise the vibration of, of our world and make and solve problems that are needed in, in, you know, in society and humanity and support them and share their story, help them build a platform for them to be able to do so. But then it was also for me, it was like, how do I go and serve them to not only help them share their story and teach them what I've learned as a content creator for 18 years, for them to be a platform so that they can attract more of an audience that actually, and like that can be educated and learn more about their missions and, 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 and ingrain them and get them involved and invite them and start being the leader, not just internally for the, for the company, but externally to lead by example and do what you're doing. Like share, you know, share the process, documenting the process and building a platform. Cause that, you know, that to me changed the game. Like not only did it change the game for my business, but my relationships have gone through the roof. Now I'm like rubbing shoulders and I have so many power. My network's insane now. Just unbelievable, world-class entrepreneurs that are creating such impact in the world, you know? Um, and it's just really amazing, you know, because, you know, your relationships are everything. My friendships, you know, it's not even just like business anymore. Like you're like my dear friend, you know? And I have such amazing friends now that we're, we all just like genuinely don't have envy you know, we genuinely want, really want to see each other win and really want to empower one another, really want to support one another. And like, to me, that's been a game changer at a young age to have that kind of support has allowed me and took me to all new levels of like belief and just being a better leader and being a better student of life and, you know, being able to show up more powerfully uh, how I'm showing up, whether on stage or on a video or working with my team or just in my, you know, dating with my family, all these things. Like, so- there's, there's that. And, and, and so I'm helping them really build their platform. And then I'm also helping them understand how to integrate this into their culture. You know, how are they actually integrating this and how they're building their team and how they're leading their team. And then like, and, and, and for me, like the goal is just being a bridge between, you know, consciousness and spirituality and business. So there's a lot of conscious leaders out there that want to share their story, that want to be able to go and create their movement and build their community. But then they also don't know business on the flip side. So there's like business leaders, right? That are building badass companies like Jeff Bezos, right? That need someone to like help wake them the fuck up so that they can help bring consciousness and build a culture of consciousness, right? And help bring that into their, into their teams and see the freaking you know, these, these big companies, right. And it doesn't, it could be startups as well, but like it could be small shifts, not only in the leader, like the, as the CEO, but you start bringing that, those principles, these practices, these frameworks into your company and your company is going to freaking 10 X, if not more, it's going to completely change the game. Right. So they need, to, they need to understand how to be able to do that. And that's what I love doing. And then on the flip side, you got conscious leaders that have gone through an awakening that are freaking unbelievable human beings, but they don't know how to fucking build a business. And I come in and I can relate to them and we share our different practices. We, we, we connect 
about like what our beliefs are and, you know, spiritually and with the world. And, and like, I understand them and, you know, and then I'm like, okay, but now let's get down to brass tacks. Let's get down to, okay, you have this mission. You want to build this huge community. You have this huge, big idea in this business, but like, how are we making money? How are we generating revenue? Because that's energy and you need that to grow. How are you building your team? 